that I should have. So with that being said, um, I don't know if I answered your question, but yeah, that's what I really wanted to get from people. Because, okay. you know, when we first start the business, you know, a lot of us have those, like I said, dreams, aspirations, and goals, but then we kind of slow down along the wayside. And if you guys aren't speaking, please go ahead and mute yourself out so that we can have a clear call. Thank you so much. So yeah, we have those aspirations and things, but we need to first identify what is our why. Everybody on this line needs to actually have a pen and pad aside to themselves right now so they can write down why you got started. And it needs to be a why that actually is not something like some people could say, let's give an example. Um, they may say something like, oh, you know, my why is because I want uh, to retire my parents or I want to do this and I want to do that. But if that why is not attached to something that makes you accountable, then you need to choose a different or a bigger why. Mm. That understood? Yes. Does that makes sense, everybody? Because what I want to happen is, uh, this is the thing we get a lot of times too. People come into the program and they'll say something like, you know, I came here to trade. Now, let me take you back two years ago. I said the same thing. I came here to trade because I was burnt out on, you know, the network marketing. I had done prepaid legal. I had done my salad shakes. I had done all of that. And I can't, you know, say it was a bad company or whatever. I can't put that on the negative on the company. It was the person. It was me because there's people at the top of those companies that are thriving. So what is it? What's the common denominator that did not make me profitable in that company? It was me. I had to be honest, you know, I was the reason I wasn't being successful. So here we want to make sure that everybody's getting what they want. And so today we're going to go ahead and look at the charts first. Okay. So we're going to do that. And while we are looking at the charts, we're still going to have a little chat. So those that have not answered the question, what is your why? And what are your dreams and aspirations? I want you to write those things down because now we're about to go into the chart. Because I want to make sure that everybody that's on this line, because the reason that you came here was to learn how to trade, right? If that's true, then go ahead and put some sevens in the chat. You came here to learn how to trade, just like I did two years ago. And so that means that we want to first get you comfortable on the charts so that now you can be an asset and not a liability. Because a lot of us have already been sitting here for some time now, and they haven't come up, you know, where they can be an asset to the team because they're, you know, doing this, they're doing that. My hands are here. And I mean, two years ago for myself, I was all over the place building a brand new church. I was doing, um, you know, had it just had a newborn baby doing all that being a wife. We can't make excuses. We can only move forward if we don't choose to make our excuses an excuse. <laughs> So today, let's go ahead into these charts and anybody that has not gave what their why is, go ahead while I'm transitioning into the I am dot center. So this is gonna be the first place that everybody wants to actually start. Inside of I am um, dot center, you're gonna find all of your educators. So the 234 that you pay, the $324 that you pay, the educators inside of the um, go live section, the information that's coming from um, those basic videos, that information there, those people are the six, seven, eight, and nine, and even 10 figure traders. And so the sponsor that got you into the business, the person that may have told you about it, whoever it may have been, and they may not be that educator and they don't have to be. So we don't want to put the weight on anybody because a lot of us, again, came here to actually alleviate either a second, third or fourth job or either, um, you know, just alleviate ourselves from even have that number one job that we have from, you know, basically not being able to do what we really love and enjoy to do. So we come here into the I am dot center. And the first thing um, that you're going to see, of course, is your name and all this other information, good information here. So we're going to go on down. Going to go where it says strategies. And in here, I'm actually going to teach you guys a strategy that's going to help you to be successful in your trading. Once you build up your confidence in your trading, you'll be able to actually speak to other people about this. So let's go to harmonics. Anybody else want to give um, their why, their aspiration, their goal? What did you come here for? Angela, this is Kathy. Um, I came um, um, in the beginning 
to trade because I was always interested in the stock market and I did not know anything about the foreign exchange. But when I saw Vesti's post, um, I think it was last year, September, October, um, that intrigued me into um, wanting to learn about the foreign exchange. And so I joined in March, March of this year, but I came because I want to retire and move on and do to, the, to my next chapter that I know that I've been called to do. So um, yeah, I, I want to retire and, and when I first initially saw the chart and after three months, how much I would be able to make um, if I stayed with the compound um, chart. So I was going by that, but sometimes when I would go into the harmonic scanner to start trading, even though, and I think I've shared this with you before, it's like when I'm, when I'm seeing the chart, when someone is teaching, I can answer all the questions, but when I get to the chart by myself, it's like I am, you know, a bit nervous of not knowing what to do. It's like I know that I know it, but it will not come to fruition when I try to do it myself. And I know that I can do, but I don't know what that block is. I don't know what that disconnect is. Mm. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Miss Kathy. We're going to definitely help you, you know, with it as much as I'm available. You know, I'm open. I want everybody on the team to know I'm open for one-on-ones. So if you need a one-on-one -on -one session, definitely okay. have my number so that you can get this accomplished, you know, because sometimes they may not be where you can ask, you know, ask what you want to ask and maybe a group of people. But you, even though I'm not an educator and I'm not trying to make this a job either, because look, we all come here for freedom, guys. Exactly. So, so that's what we're trying to do. But we don't want to leave anybody behind either. So we want to be, you know, our sister's keeper, brother keeper, all of the above. All right. So now let me go ahead and just put into the chat uh, my number so that everybody has it. I'm Angela Wilkins. And so this is how you can connect with me. All right, so now since we're on Harmonic Scanner and you want to take some screenshots if you're um, on, your, um, on your phone, but this is how it looks um, normal. So this is 87% accurate of a tool. This is the same flagship product that everybody started with uh, when the company first started way back when, uh, 2013, they started with this flagship product. And this is the same tool that Mr. Christopher Terry spent 25 plus years on Wall Street actually using. This is the same tool that your banks, Wells Fargo, BB&T, uh, Navy Federal, whatever bank you can think of, they're actually using this same tool to grow your money every single day in the market. So you want to definitely get acquainted with this tool right here. And this is a very simplistic tool. So all you have to know when you're using this harmonic scanner is your one, two, threes. That's something we already went to school for. ABCs, shapes, and then colors. Go ahead and put those things in the chat. Your one, two, threes, your shapes, your colors, and your ABCs. That's it. I want to make it very simplistic. That's all that you're actually looking for when you're looking at this chart. Now, for those that are wanting to be well advanced on the chart and want to become one day a master educator, you're the person that wants to know what the X, the letter X mean, the letter A, the letter B, and the letter C means. The educator that's going to teach you in Go Live how to actually master these charts as he did is going to be Manny Kionez. Manny Kionez, if somebody's taking notes, go ahead and type that into the chat for me. Manny Kionez. He's the, also the voice behind our basic videos that we have on the, um, the, um, the academy. So let's um, take it a little bit farther. So basically, the next letter that you want to actually look at on this chart. And if you have any questions, please stop me in my track so that we can get it correct right now. <laughs> but this is um, the letter D is what you want to be looking for. D is in David, or you can say D as in direction. That's going to be half the battle there. So we already know because we went to grade school, we went to middle school, high school. We done all that. We know the simplistic of the alphabets and all that other stuff. Now you come to the trading world. And I'm actually accelerating your path because all you have to know now by pulling up the harmonic scanner is ready-made 
87% accurate. And so you're looking at the letter D again is in David. And I'm repeating because repetitiveness, you know, that's how we get it. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word. All right. So D as in David. And then that can also be a D as in direction. And that's going to tell you if you're buying or you're selling. Okay. That's going to show you if you're buying or selling. So by looking at this um, pair right here, where my mouse is, it says EUR GBP. EUR GBP, that's the euro for the Great Britain pound. It says hot Forex, that's the um, broker. It doesn't matter which broker you actually choose. So you can go to the right hand side of this menu and you can pull down the drop down menu. We have FX choice to choose from. We have GBE, we have hot Forex, we have Hugo's way. We have JFX, we have Trader's Way, we have XM.com and Ghana Trader. So it doesn't matter which one of those brokers that you use, it's going to pr produce a setup that you can actually use to make money from. So again, D as in David, depending on where it's positioned, is going to tell me my direction, buying or selling. So if somebody can go ahead and unmute on this EUR GBP pair, what are we doing, buying or selling? We're buying. Great, great job. So yep, we're buying. When the D is low, we're looking for buying opportunities. Now, of course, when you can actually see the can the color of the candles, the red is for the selling candles and the blue is gonna be for the buying candles. So we'll have to wait for a certain time before we actually enter this trade, unless we wanna be in a lot of drawdown or pullback. And pullback, that, that word, is going to be found inside of your uh, academy in the videos. And it's going to let you know that pullbacks just happen. There's nothing we can do about that. But you want to enter at the right time. So right now we have that little thin green line right here. And you want to make sure that a blue candle comes through this area before you jump into the trade. So another confirmation that you're looking for buy opportunities, we have take profits on the right hand side of the menu. We have take profit one, take profit two, and we have take profit three. So for me and most people that are brand new, they should stick with take profit one because that's gonna be the safest place on the chart. Take profit one. Take profit two is a medium risk and take profit three is a more, look, <laughs> a huge risk. I'll say it like this. The thing is take profit one, I most likely am able to get to that point. Take profit two, it may happen. But let's say you're trying to be greedy and you try to go to take profit three as a new person, just because you know you're going to make more money. But it can take hours because every single candlestick that's on this chart, the chart I'm on right now is considered M15, 15 minutes. So that means that it's not going to be complete in 15 minutes for the entire chart. We're talking about every itty bitty candle having to go through a 15 minute a piece process, no matter how big or small they are. Okay. Anybody have any questions so far? No questions? Then we're gonna have a lot of master traders. We're gonna have a lot of people that's gonna be confident. And then this is why we come here, you know, to trade. So if we come here to trade, there should be a lot more traders. I understand it when, like I said, I, I understand it when the candles are coming through, but when it's I guess when it's time for me to go in and put the actual um, numbers in, take profit, stop loss, that's when it's like, <laughs> I guess I'm not trusting myself because I see that this is a buy and I do know that we have to wait until the blue candle come before we jump into a trade. The green line, the entry line, I, um, I know that, you know, we have to, that's when we put the trade in entry, the entry when we um when we go to put in the trade. Right. And the profit. Oh, and the I'm sorry, somebody uh, is unmuted, making that background noise. <laughs> but um, yeah, I understand where you're coming from, Miss Kathy, because it happened to me. I was over analyzing and over analyzation. Because yeah. sometimes you have, you know, um analysis paralysis where you never, kind of situation like, let's say for instance, just look at somebody 
you know, some people did play um, jump rope when they were kids. When you jump rope when you were a kid, you got to have the right timing. Yep. <laughs> Or you gonna get slapped in the face with them doggos. <laughs> slapped in the face. So you you doing all this <laughs> jumping? <laughs> you just gotta get in there. And so just like Nike, you know, y'all gotta just do it. And the only way I can tell you to practice and just do it is do it in your um your demo account. Do it in your demo account. And if you have let's say a hundred consecutive wins, now of course there's gonna be some losses in between. But I'm just saying, at least give yourself, you know at least a hundred consecutive wins. That means just trade up, trade, look, do your own little trade thon <laughs> How about that? Do your own little trade thon but make sure you're following a compound growth chart plan and that will help you as well with your confidence because for somebody that has a, let's use this example that's already up here, $250 account, we're not putting in stand, you know, a standard 1.00 in our um, lot size area. We're putting in, it says 0. Two five. The pips, it depends on the person. You know, some people want 10 pips, some people want um, you know, 50 pips, some people might want to go for a hundred pips. It just depends on what you want. This chart can be altered. So you're just working it line upon line. So however much your balance is that you're starting, how much daily growth you decide. You can do one percent, two percent, three percent, four percent. You can change that. That can be changed. Same thing for the pips. The pips can be changed, and then of course. When the pips are changed, your lot size has to change as well. You just have to have the confidence. That's what I said. The confidence is going to be built up when you're inside of your demo account. Practice as many times. I mean, there's so many trading opportunities going on on a daily basis. Nobody should say they haven't taken a trade yet. If you haven't taken a trade yet, go ahead and put some ones in the chat so we can make sure that your phone is set up right so that you can take some trades because um, we're having um, open enrollment is available. Um, day club and night club, that's available. Um, and that's an added bonus. That's something out of the kindness of Dr. China's heart because she knows that a lot of people aren't doing their due diligence going to the academy. So basically she's creating a job, but you know, that's what we do. You know, when we care so much about the well-being of somebody else, we're trying to pull you guys, you know, it's a lot of money inside of trading, but it's very expensive as well. So that means that if you, you know, make a mistake and hit 1.00, you have a $200 account and you lose, let's say, hmm, $100 of it. <laughs> and then you feel like trading doesn't work. Well, you, you, you didn't properly manage the risk. Exactly. Yeah. You know, we can, we can go to YouTube all day long. It's free. But by the time you look at this person's package, that person's uh, strategy and this person's Guess what? You be done spent well over thousands of dollars. So it's, it's better to just get it from an organized organization and the information is contained where people, you know, in a, in a, a loving environment, because to me, I learn better when I have a group of people. Because I'm telling you, I can be at home by myself trying to look at what the binary, because I've been seeing binaries, but I didn't know what it was a long time ago. I'm just now noticing, look, I'm just now noticing well, I was doing messing around with that like a few years ago, at least like five years ago. <laughs> All I knew is that the thing said, put $500 in an account and the little lines jumping back in, you know, all over the place. So that's not having proper education. That's just following somebody from YouTube thinking that I was going to be some kind of, you know, uh, champion out of it. It's not going to happen. So this is why we actually, we don't like to say that we use the other side of our compensation plan. We don't say that we use that as an added thing. It's necessary because a lot of times when people come here, I tell you myself, two years ago, we were losing two vehicles. We had, you know, our family had to pack up from a bad neighborhood, a shootout situ situation and move back with my uh, husband's family. Did we want to do something like that? Absolutely not. And then even to go a little bit further, at 19, my mother passed away. She um, basically was 49 years old, but worked all the way until she died. I'm, I'm just like, I mean, I have enough 911 situations in my family to know that I don't want my life to continue and, you know, more and more generations doing the same thing. Somebody has to say, the buck stops here. You're inside of a wealth club. That's not only going to teach you trading, but the relationships that you're going to build from this is going to branch out and be able to help you with other businesses that you may have, other ventures that you may have. 
every aspect of life is always going to be concerning other people. When people say that they don't want to talk to people, that means that you don't want a job because you had to go to an interview session and impress somebody. You had to go to a, a process while you were on that job. When I was at FedEx office, I had to go and actually have a performers meeting. And what that meant was basically, let's say for instance, you're you're at a certain you know evaluation point in your job and they're going to evaluate okay what can angela do better mm -hmm. oh she, she she yeah she can definitely improve in that area and we'll listen and hear their coaching and we'll go and fight for whatever um bonus that they offer us at the end and mine was like 25 cent more yep 25 cent they giving us but yet we have an opportunity that's a million dollar opportunity outside of what you're doing with trading and we're closed mouth. I don't understand it. There's too much going on in the world where everybody knows that they need this kind of opportunity. People are looking for an opportunity. People are looking for you to say yes all over again, for you to not just say yes, but I'm talking about just say, you know, that you're open to actually just showing them the way. You don't have to wait till you learn how to trade because I'm telling you, if you wait till you learn how to trade, and I've seen it so many times where people said that, that guess what happens? Something in your life is going to trigger you to either slow all the way down or pull all the way out of the whole company. And you tell me how you're going to be a successful trader with inconsistencies. It's not going to happen. Again, Mr. Christopher Terry spent 25 to 30 plus years on Wall Street. And yet we come here and we think that three months we're going to be superstars in this industry. When we have immediate situations, if you were to have a, a house fire, everybody on this line can tell me and y'all can unmute. If you had a house fire and your family member, somebody that was dear to your heart was inside of a burning house, what would you do? Would you wait to call 911 or would you rush to call 911? Would you wait to call 911? I would rush right away. It's a right away emergency. And right now we have fires going on in our life. Some people don't know where their next meal is coming from. Some people want to retire their parent. For me, look, me and my husband, we have attained certain amount of wealth inside of this, but it's not enough for just us, our four, no more. Guess what? I'm looking at his mom having to go to and deal with all the emotions of all the people that's facing COVID. My 85 year old dad just got rid of it. He's two people in his nursing home that just got rid of it. Thankful to God for his life at 85. But I have a mother in law that's actually still going out to work every single day, seeing the pain and struggle in other people's family members' lives because of this doggone craziness that's going on in our world. If that haven't shaken you and hit home yet, that's enough reason to say to somebody and get out of your own way about how you feel about how they're going to look. How they're going to look at you because, oh, they're going to ask me how much money I made. It's not about you. God sent you here to this industry, to this organization for a reason. I don't, like, again, I don't know your dreams and your aspirations and your goal. What makes you move? But for me, I'm the Harriet Tubman in my family. And to know some kind of, you know, this, about this information, the weight of this information, there's no way my mouth can be closed. Like I said, I came here two years ago just thinking about me, my four, and no more. Had we not opened up our mouth, none of you guys would be here. Had I not been posting on Facebook, Betsy wouldn't have found out about it. Had she not been posting, Miss Kathy wouldn't have found out about it. Latasha wouldn't have found out about it. Adrian wouldn't have found out about it. Aisha wouldn't have found out about it. So it's a, a chain reaction. And again, there's a million dollars on the table outside of what, what you're talking about with trading. You came here to trade, yes, but trading is going to take some time. If you're not focused or in the right mind space to actually stay focused, I know what can help, help you to stay focused if your bills are being paid. Because it's hard to focus when you got weight of what's really going on in your life. Angela, for me, I invite people, I tell people, 
about it, but I always get um, the um, I always get the response that you know don't have the monthly um, money. Um, it's always an excuse, and with me, it's like you have to. If I'm giving you an opportunity, you have to see the benefits in this opportunity for yourself in order to make a move. Um, and I really feel that they think that I they're doing me a favor as coming on and see the opportunity, but it's like I'm trying to help you because I know once you come to the um to, to the meetings, you'll see the opportunity. Because for instance, um one you and I had a um three-way with someone and she has been on the meetings oh my goodness at least four or five times and so i reached out to her and was you know asking her if she had any questions because she hadn't signed up or anything i was you know asking her is there an issue can we talk or do she need to get on another three-way and so she texted me and she said that she didn't think that she wanted to do it again and i asked her why and she said well i don't think i'll be able to um get anyone to join and i don't want to pay over two thousand dollars a month for monthly fees but she has brothers and sisters she has two sons i mean there's people in her immediate family that can benefit from this as well you know and so i even in my family you know i tell them i give show them the opportunity they have been on the meetings and it's like but they don't want to make that commitment so I don't know, that's where I get hung up. I don't know how to help them to see what I see in this benefit, in, in this opportunity. Okay, that's good. Um, I know a lot of people have the price point as a issue, but you know what? I mean, two years ago, when we were in that bad place, guess what? That $200 that we came up with, it was very hard to come up with it. So I understand but I'm not going to say, oh, I'm not going to give them to their fears about it being so high because guess what? Many years ago, it cost three point something million just to get into this space. And now when you have a space that's just $200 and sometimes when I've seen people pay their $200 just freely and guess what happens? They don't place value on it. They'll come mm -hmm. into this program and the next week or so, I, you know, I'm calling them on like, hey, how's it going? Whatever. How, how are you enjoying the program and um, the profits and everything? Oh, I haven't even gotten into the program. So they'll pay the money freely because it's easy to attain because you can get that with a nine to five. But come up with yeah. two, come up with 2.5 million. You have to have some good credit mm -hmm. to get the loan. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that, you know, when I, I'm, I'm praying for people to come to my business, I'm, a, I'm, I'm speaking it all day long. I need people that are going to see the vision of not just be selfish and, and sit here and just soak up all the trading because we could have just kept it um, to ourselves. We could have just did the same thing that other people have done way back in the day. A long time ago, people were already, you know, trading and stuff like that. And they were just saying, oh, you know what I'm doing. You know, you know, you know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. We don't know what you're doing. And can you at least teach us? No, they're doing this in the privacy of their home and they just keeping it all to their doggone self. So right now we have the opportunity to get it for 200 something dollars and people are like, oh, well, I could just go to YouTube. I could just do this and I could just do that. Well, if you can do that, then we would have been had some millionaires, you know? But I'm just saying, this is how you overcome that objective. First thing, first, you got to speak whatever you want to attract in your business. Every person or majority of my business came off of the internet. Sometimes you can't rely on your family members because guess what? Walmart ain't open to family. Disney ain't open to just family. You got to come back around the merry-go-round and get your family. So you have to think big business. So I heard a key uh, point in uh, one of the meetings that we were on yesterday for the Super Sunday. It was just like, um, you know, you got to think bigger, faster. And so a lot of times people come here and they like, again, their the price point is hitting people. But a lot of other companies are coming around the block talking about, oh, you know, we got this $99 uh, thing when all they're doing is giving you trade uh, alerts here you can actually learn how to do the skill what if that trade alert company or what if compliance breaks that whole company down and i'm just saying you don't have a skill set out of this deal you get the skill set 
and you get um you know trades along the way so you can learn and you can earn so i don't know if you guys know all the value that we have here but again it used to cost people ten thousand dollars a weekend for a weekend session with mr christopher terry himself he thought of, um, you know, not robbery for uh, us to even learn about this program. And even the guy that actually got him to actually lean into this ideal of making it, okay, I'm going to make a trading school and I'm going to do this. And I'm going to say it's 200 and something dollars. Mr. Gary Roberts, he has several felonies. You think a job would want him? Now he's making a hundred grand a month. He gave Mr. Christopher Terry that idea. He said, my people, you know, our people, they're not going to be able to afford $500. So let me go down again. But we can't control what the brokers are about to do. The brokers, guys, they about to change them prices because guess what? This industry is getting so attractive that people, just like the Uber system, when it came out, we had sidecar out, we had lift out, we got all these different, uh, you know, ride share companies just pop it up, pop matics everywhere. And so when I used to do Lyft and Uber myself, 2014, I jumped on it when it was hot. And I'm going to tell you one thing, look, in that same week, did I want strangers in my car? Absolutely not. But guess what? I conditioned myself because that's when my family needed some extra additional money, right? And I put the wear and tear on my vehicle. But I'm going to tell you like this. I ended up doing um, um, Uber and Lyft. 2014, I was able to do $1,500 a week. You ask any Uber or Lyft driver right now, can they do that? Market share is gone. Other companies are popping out. I mean, even... Little mom and pop shop co co um, companies are popping up around now. So I'm saying that you're in a good space. Two years ago, when we were telling people about this, guess what? A lot of people didn't know about it. You're telling people right now, and guess what? You got family, cousin, brother, they, everybody knowing about it. But now it's getting so much popular. Guess what? In a minute, I think it is going to be on Lifetime, y'all, because Lifetime is already talking about Uber. So I'm just saying, you know, you want to be expeditious with it. And if it's not happening in your business, then guess what? You have to evaluate in yourself. Are you speaking what you want to see? Am I speaking what I want to see? I have a million dollar corporation in my hands and I can do anything. So I have people that are coming to my business that are going to be runners, not just going to sit here and soak up all the trading because again, that takes time. And right now, a lot of people are coming divided. They got their nine to five. They got they, this going on, that career or whatever. You're all over the place. And the only thing I can think that makes it make sense for people is if all of their bills was paid, they wouldn't have that dividedness about themselves. So how do you get people to come to your business? You promote on Facebook. You get on lives. You ask your coach. You get on a one-on-one -on -one with your coach. It's whatever it takes because right now the way the economy is going we already know what is happening in the world we cannot settle guys and we cannot just stay in the same predicament year after year after year a lot of people that are coming in right now like um you guys are hearing me right now you're coming into this space and all the bumps and the bruises that i had when i first got into this space guess what you don't even have to go through it you're on an accelerated path because i went through it now i can coach you how to move out the way how to don't do that do this come on let's do this because it's been working for me this post has been working like it's viral go ahead and do it now look whatever um that you're trying to do in your business you got to believe it first you got to be the first product of the product you got to believe what you're even thinking that you want to happen in your business and i know we got to wrap it on up soon but um anybody um else want to go ahead and say anything before we go ahead and um, give these, um, give this uh, information for the harmonic scanner, because I'm going back and forth, back and forth while we're talking. So if you um, have the harmonic scanner up, or if you just uh, have your phone to take the little screenshot, go ahead and do that. The indicators that I'm using on the regular harmonic scanner, remember it's 87% accurate. The 87% accurateness can actually be increased when you use an indicator. And sometimes the rules that apply before may change, okay? So this is what I do also when I'm doing the harmonic scanner. I'm doing the currency strength meter. I'm also pulling up the Forex factory. So we have Forex factory. So Forex factory, 
I'm gonna actually put this into the chat. We got forexfactory.com, and this is actually gonna tell you the news about what's going on right here. And so anytime you see a red folder or four consecutive folders that are alike, um, let's say for here, um, we got these yellow folders with EUR, it's four of them. That's equivalent to one red folder. So anytime you see red folders, you just wanna stay away from that particular pair. Me personally, I stay away from it all day. Um, unless, you know, I just see that, uh, man, this thing is about to go in a different direction. And that's when you're a little bit more seasoned. But um, as you're going into, you know, seeing these yellow folders, this yellow folder means low impact, low impact news. Um, the orange folder means medium impact news. And then the red folder is high impact news. When you see those red folders, again, stay away. <laughs> uh, currency strength meter, you'll learn how to actually read this. But I just want you guys to actually take um, this link and actually use it when you're trading. So again, you're going to be using... Oh, I don't know what happened, Miss Kathy, but you're back now. And we're about to go over the um, things that we're uh, talking about for the harmonic scanner. So indicators that I use. So we have the currency strip meter. This is a sidekick to what I'm doing when I'm trading. And we also are going to use the news because we want to make sure that we're not just jumping into any trade, even though the harmonic scanner is calling this trade out. See right here, NZD, JPY. So what, I, what do I do? I take out my Forex factory. Hmm. Any NZD pairs? Any JP? Okay. All right. So I don't see my NZDs up here. So I go back. Yep. Right here to currency strength meter. And now I'm just going to refresh this page often because these pairs kind of change really quick. So as you can see, it says NZD and my JPY is right here. So my NZD pair has more bars on it. So we have uh, four bars right here. And the more bars it has, the more strength that that particular pair has. So that's the dominating pair. It has more strength. So we're looking for a buy. If that, um, the JPY has more strength, which is a secondary pair, that means that we'll be looking for a selling opportunity. But dominating pair is NZD. So we're looking for buy opportunities. And what did you see? On this, as is, without any indicators, Harmonic Scanner was right we got take profit one from that D level. So when that big candle shot up, hit right there. Take profit one was hit, somebody made money. Now we're going on up again. Take profit two is probably gonna be hit too because if you're looking at the strength meter, it's showing us that NZD has the majority of the strength. So that's buying. So NZD against the JPY. Let's do a different analogy. Um, let's do, mm, let's do CHF, CHF, uh, JPY. So CHF here, you guys see that it only has one bar, right? So that one bar, that means that it doesn't have much strength. JPY doesn't have much strength either. When I see a pair that looks flat like that on both sides or their level, I don't jump into those trades either. I have to analyze something that has more of a strength to it. So EJ or Euro uh, JPY, that's good. That's a buy, it's showing me clear definition that it's a buy. GBP has a lot of strength. That's showing me a good definition that is, look, it's buying. Uh, same thing with USD, buying, pair with that JPY, okay? Anybody have any questions so far? I wanna make sure that you guys are gonna be proficient traders because remember, this is why we're here. Can you guys unmute? Anybody have any questions? Type it in the chat. All right, so moving right along. So as we come to um, the candles, I changed my candles to Heikonashi's. So regular candles you have, but when you're looking at this, the Heikonashi candles actually give you a better definition, which um, how much momentum you have on um, a particular candle. As you can see, this red, and you can see the blue. So the indicators that I'm about to show you guys is gonna be right here. So I hope you're taking notes because I don't hear anybody asking questions. Um, my first indicator that I'm using is a moving average. 
So you're gonna put two moving averages on your chart, okay? Two moving averages. Once you have those moving averages and move kind of expeditiously because we gotta um, go on and get out of this because uh, 15 minutes or less, actually the other people are gonna start flooding the call. All right, so moving averages. Two moving averages. The first moving average, the inputs are, the length is gonna be four, number four. Source is gonna be closed. The offset is gonna be a number one. Again, the, the first moving average, length is four, source is closed, and the offset is number one. Style is gonna be, plot is gonna be checked. The color is gonna be green. Opacity turn all the way up to 100%. The thickness is gonna be level two. And the precision is going to be a number six. Once you have it, go ahead and let me know so we can move on to the other one. Angela, I have these already. I have the moving average already, so okay, I have it already. All right. I think some other people have jumped on here. Um, if you're not a part of um, Betsy Rose's team, then please um, join us, rejoin us on the 8 o'clock call. We're finishing up a meeting here. Thank you so much, and we look forward to working with you. All right, so the next moving average you got is going to be, let's see, um, inputs. Length is going to be a number four. Source is going to be open. Offset is going to be a number one. And the style is going to be the same color green. Opacity turned to 100%, and the thickness is level two and precision is going to be number four and then hit okay all right and so now you're going to go up to the top and you're going to save it save it as chopsticks and now when you pull up your chart you'll be able to actually use the chopsticks on every one of the um, different patterns or um, pairs that come up now what you're looking for on this um, particular pair or um, strategy is going to be let's pull up a pair right here and again it goes against what we actually taught on the first one so harmonic scanner as is was based upon wherever the d is we're looking for buying opportunities if the d is high we're looking for sell opportunities if the d is low we're looking for buying opportunities so i'm going to show you something really quick that's going to help you to actually be proficient in your trading Uh, let's see, and I'm not seeing anything that looks clear defined right now, but anyways, I'm gonna give an analogy. So let's go all the way back, all the way back here. Because what we're looking for is basically when those um, chopsticks cross and has enough space in between it, that means that you can eat something with the chopsticks. So it's just like if you were eating with the chopsticks, pretty much. Let me go back. Whew. Hey, Angela. Yes. Yes, I have a question. So because I missed, like, I'm really grateful for you showing this to us because I actually missed the last two uh, segments of the Tokyo China training when she was teaching this. So the chop six, so uh, say take profit three hit. That means as those candles continue to move, we're able to jump in on sales or uh or buys even past the take profit. Is that correct? Absolutely. Now that part is a little bit more advanced. So I'm trying to find one that's already set up for um, a new chart, but um, I don't seem to find anything right now. So sometimes you just have to be patient. This is a patience game, y'all. The mm -hmm. one who's patient, that's the one who makes the money. So I'm actually on this chart right here. Um, I want to show you from the beginning because these things are just run, run on, run on after run on because nothing new is in the, inside of the um, the batch that's coming out right now. But if we can actually pull it all the way to the left, goodness, it's a task. <laughs> mm 
drag, click, drag, click, drag. <laughs> You'll learn all about this when you're inside of these charts. And I'm just clicking just to get it all the way to the left hand side so you can see the front part of it. Goodness grief, this thing is long. Oh goodness, this is just way too much. Anyhow, um, if I can just, if you guys can imagine that the harmonic pattern is right, let's say, okay, right here. Just imagine the little butterfly looking thing, you know, the shape <laughs> right there is right here. And you're looking at the D right here on this flat blue candle. Can everybody see that where my mouse is? The D is right here. How about the D is on this little cross of a, um, a candle, <laughs> the red one. So it's right here and your next candle came out, right? was the flat bottom blue candle. So instead of jumping in on that first candle because you wouldn't know where it was going until it completed. So it has to complete. So you see the wick at the top. The next blue candle came out, but it still wasn't a flat bottom for you. So the next time, look, and then right here, this is where your chopsticks cross. You see where the two green lines meet and they crossed. They crossed just like that. And so basically, you're looking for that next flat bottom. That's why I said turn your candles into a Heikinachi style candle so you can see the clear definition of momentum. And so basically, when you're looking at the flat bottom candle, you can jump in right here because guess what? You already seen number one gave you indication. Hey, it's about to go into a buy. Let me wait for the next flat bottom candle and let me jump in. My, my chopsticks cross gave me another confirmation and now I'm inside of this thing right here. So now when I go up to use my measuring tool to tell me how many pips I'm collecting in the market, you know, based upon using your compound growth chart, how many pips you want to collect because you're doing, you're doing your journal before you starting to trade. So you know how many pips you want to collect. If you just want to collect 10, look, you would have got 10 off of this. Let's see, let's go keep going right about there. Even though it says 105 on my little measuring tool, that's actually 10 pips, okay? Because you dropped the last number off. And so even though, let's say for instance, the harmonic scanner doesn't have the, um, the numbers, okay, um, on the right side of your chart, if you have the D right here, of course, your numbers on the right side of the chart will have take profit one, two, three, headed that way. The chopsticks may can turn a different direction. So let's say for instance, um, you had a high D, signifying that you were doing a selling um, um, chart at that time. But because this happened right here with the blue candles and the crossing of the chopsticks, you saw the opening of the mouth. So basically right here, you're looking for that momentum to push up into a buy. So instead of using the numbers on the side, because somebody's, somebody's unmuted. If you're coming in here uh, for the eight o'clock call, we have not started yet. Please um, get back on the call in just a few minutes. All right, so basically um, you'll see that this candle, this, um, this area right here, if it has an open mouth, that means that you're looking for a buy. But we'll definitely have to complete this at a different time so that you guys can get it. But if you enjoyed what you just saw, just go ahead and put some sevens in the chat and then we'll reconvene at a different time. Because I want to make sure that everybody's getting this because the more you're doing this and the more that you're actually taking trades inside of your demo account, that's what's going to give you the confidence. And I also want to mention that um, every person on the call so that you can get a kickstart to your business and making sure that you actually have uh, two customers so that you won't have to pay the monthly, um, please send a list uh, to my email. A list of 25 people so that we can get you kickstarted on your business, okay? And then I'll give you a script to what you're going to say to those people. All right. Thank you, ladies, so much. Sorry we had to thank go. Thank you. Angela, will this be 25 people that you have that I have already talked to or a new set of 25 they people? Be, they can be new or old. If they okay. haven't come yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, ladies. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. All right.